19th November 2017 was observed as World Toilet Day, the theme of which was wastewater and fecal sludge management. Do you know what is fecal sludge management? The proper and effective system of disposal of human waste is called fecal sludge management. So that human waste can be safely collected without any leakage and they should not become the cause of any pollution. Now you must be thinking that why is it necessary to treat human waste? So let us tell you that human waste is a major reason for increasing pollution. The rate of open defecation in India is 60% of the world. According to the Ministry of Urban Development, 51% of the households in non-notified slums do not have toilets. In such a situation, these people defecate in the open and then this waste flows into open drains and other water bodies. This adds to water, land and air pollution. One must understand why proper disposal of human waste is necessary. Under the Swachh Bharat mission, the government has succeeded in controlling open defecation to a great extent. This has also increased awareness among people about the use of toilets. In the last few years, crores of toilets have been built from door to door in remote villages with the help of the government. This gave relief to those who defecate in the open. At the same time, it was also seen as a big initiative in terms of women's safety. But just using toilets is not the complete solution to remove the dirt. To keep our society and country clean, proper disposal of human waste is also necessary. Only then we can keep our water, forest and land clean. So let's know how to properly manage human waste. Actually, an ideal system consists of a completely leak-free and underground network of pipes which we call a sewer network as well as a sewage treatment plant. This system is available to one-third of India's urban population, basically living in the metropolitan cities. If we talk about small towns and villages, then most of the people use a separate sewerage system which is also called on-site system. It consists of a septic tank or pit latrines. This system is prevalent in many Indian homes. The system also includes septic management for the safe collection, transportation and treatment of human waste. Under a special process, the sewage is transported by specific vehicles to the treatment plant where it is treated safely and effectively. According to the 2011 census, only 32.7% of urban households are connected to a piped sewer system while 38.2% of households dispose while 38.2% of households dispose of their sewage in septic tanks and 7% in pit toilets. The data shows we need to take more concrete steps in this direction. There are several challenges in fulfilling this goal, but the steps need to be taken without which the dream of cleanliness cannot be realized. According to the Central Pollution Control Board CPCB, only 160 out of 8,000 towns in India have sewage systems and sewage treatment plants. It is necessary to build more such plants. Surveys have revealed that the old on-site systems are not built properly. It is also not based on the standard designs of septic tanks and pits issued by the government. These poorly designed pits are likely to pollute the drinking water. In such a situation, along with the new toilets, the work of repairing the old toilets is also necessary. In towns and villages, fecal waste is still picked up and transported by hands. This increases the risk of diseases and hence the management of waste is required to be done by special vehicles. In such a situation, vehicles for carrying sewage in gram panchayats and municipalities should be ensured. Along with the government, we also have some responsibilities by which we can save us from diseases and from the increasing pollution. Therefore, it is important for us to take some precautions in sewage waste management. Precautions regarding fecal sludge management. Boycott open defecation. Build toilets in your homes. Get old septic tanks repaired. Get the tanks cleaned regularly. Be aware of cleanliness and take advantage of the government help. Under the Swachh Bharat mission, the government has taken many commendable steps like giving subsidy to the poor for the construction of toilets in villages. Concrete policies on cleanliness 
have been laid down in cities as well. The government has increased investment for the construction of sewage treatment plants. Under the Swachh Bharat mission, a sizable budget has been earmarked for advertisements, paying special attention to the awareness of the people. Remember, cleanliness is directly related to human health. If human excreta is not handled and treated properly, it can get into the food chain and pollute it seriously. This can adversely affect our health. So be aware of cleanliness and make the environment clean because cleanliness is not just our duty, but it's our right.